In web applications, we may have tasks that take too long to perform during a typical web request. For example, sending emails, handling file uploads, or even CPU-intensive tasks. Since these tasks can be time-intensive, we can move them to a queue that can be processed in the background. That way, our application can respond to web requests quickly and with a better user experience. Adonis.js doesn't yet provide an out-of-the-box queue implementation. However, we have many queue implementations for Node.js. And since Adonis.js is a Node.js framework, we should be able to use any of those implementations in Adonis.js. In this video, I will show you how to use BoolMQ to process background jobs in Adonis.js. BoolMQ is a Node.js library that implements a fast and robust queue system built on top of Redis. We could use BoolMQ directly. But since there are BoolMQ integrations for Adonis.js, we will be using one of them instead. Specifically, I will be using Adonis Bool Q from Romain because it is well maintained and supports Adonis.js 6. Before we get started, BoolMQ is based on Redis, so you must have Redis installed and set up on your computer. Yeah, I have the application built from the Adonis.js 6 crash course. I will drop a link to it down in the description if you want to check it out. Now, let's say we want to send a welcome email to users upon creating an account. As I mentioned earlier, we will undo this in the background. First, let's install the queue package. npm install, then the package. Once installed, we need to configure the package. So, node is configure then the package amongst other things this will create a config file which we can use to configure the package let's take a look at the config file which will be inside the config directory first we have the connection details which is where we specify how we connect to redis we can have different queues as well as different workers so this is where we configure them then lastly we have the jobs object which is where we specify the configurations for each job by default, the attempt is set to 3, which means it will try processing a job for 3 times. Then after the third time, it's going to stop retrying the job and mark it as failed. We also have other configurations we can apply to jobs. These settings or configurations can be applied globally to all jobs by specifying them here, or we can specify the configurations on a per job basis. Next, let's add the Redis connection details inside the .env file. The package has pre-populated them with some defaults, which happens to be my Redis connection details as well. If yours is different, you will need to update it accordingly. Now, let's create our first job. Remember, we are working with the concept of sending a welcome email. So, we are going to create a job that will undo that. And the package provides a way of creating jobs. So, we can use the make job command to create jobs. So, node is make job. Then we specify the name of the job, which I'm going to call send welcome email. This will be created inside the jobs directory, inside the apps directory. A job class has two methods. We have the undo method, which is where we specify what we want the job to do. Then we have a rescue method, which is where we specify what we want to do if a job has been marked as failed. That is, after exhausting the retry attempts. In this video, we are not going to do anything with the rescue method, but instead our focus will be on the undo method. Like I said, this is where we want to specify whatever we want the job to do. And in this case, we want to send an email. So to do that, we need to first install and set up the Adonis mail package. npm install at adonis.js slash mail. Then we configure it with node is configure. We have a couple of options to choose as the mail service we want to use. For this video, I'll be using SMTP. So I'm going to select that, then enter. Again, this will, amongst other things, create a mail config file. So let's look at the config file. The default driver has been set to SMTP, which is what I selected. And we have the connection details for the driver. I will uncomment the auth object because I will be needing it. Then I'm going to set this to default to an empty string. Then we can also update that in the env.cs file. Next, we need to provide you the correct values inside the .env file. 
I will be using mail trap for testing, so I have added my configuration details accordingly with the mail package installed and configured. Next, let's create a mailer. Node is make mail, and I'm going to call the mailer welcome. This will create that inside a mails directory. So this is where we specify what we want to send as the email. We can specify where the email is coming from. So I'm going to say support at example.com. Then the subject will be welcome to posting. Then inside the prepare method is where we specify who we want to send the email to and the content of the email. First, let's accept the user we want to send the email to. So I'm going to create a constructor and we're going to have a private property, which will be user, and it's going to be the type of user. Then we're going to call super. Now we can get the email address we want to send the mail to from the user object. So this will be this.user.email. Then for the contents, we're going to do HTML view. Then we'll specify where the HTML view is located, which will be inside the emails directory. The name of the view is welcome underscore email. Then also we are going to pass the user to the view so that we can have access to it inside the view. This dot user. This view doesn't exist yet. So let's create it. Node is make view. That has been created inside resources, views, emails. And then we have the email. So here is where we specify the content of the mail. And I'm going to keep it simple and just say welcome. Then the user's username. Now we have the welcome email. What we need to do next is send it. I'm going to head back to the send welcome email job. And inside the undo method, we're going to send the welcome email. First, let's import mail. Import mail from at adonis.js slash mail slash services slash main then we can make use of it i will mail dot send then we will specify that we want to send the welcome email so new welcome notification remember the welcome notification class accepts the user we want to send the mail to so we need a way to get the user so that we can pass it to the class luckily for us we can pass payload to the job and once payload is passed to a job, we have access to it in the undo method. We just need to update what the undo method accepts. So in this case, it's going to accept the user, which will be a type of user. While we are here, we can get rid of this interface since we are not using it. And also get rid of it in the rescue method. Now we can pass the user to the class. We now have everything in place. We have the job. We have the mail we want to send. All we need to do next is dispatch a job, that is, this job. We will do that inside the register controller. We want to dispatch the job after we've created the user record in database. We can do it here. First, let's pull in the queue package. Import queue from at the bool package, then slash services slash main then we can make use of it q dot dispatch then we specify the job we want to dispatch which is the send welcome email job then we specify the payload we want to send along with the job which in this case is the user that was just created so this is how to dispatch a job then the queue worker will pick the job so that it gets processed in the background before we go on and test this out, let's make sure to start the queue worker to listing and process jobs. We can do that with the queue listing command that is node is queue colon listing. The queue worker is now running and it is listening for any job that gets dispatched. So once a job is dispatched, it's going to pick it up and process the job. Now let's test it out. I'm going to create an account. The registration was successful. As you can see, the queue has picked up the job and now it has finished processing the job. Now, if we check mail trap, we should see the welcome email. So this is how to process background jobs in Adonis.js using bool MQ.